Yo, what's up everybody? Today we are going to be doing some DDLC Plus and um, yeah, as you have seen from my last videos, we have finished the DDLC playthrough. I thought, why not? I love the visual novel. Let's just get everything we can out of it. So yeah, we're going to do the side stories for DDLC Plus and um, yeah, I am, I am sad. I know I did spend money to buy this port, but still... I think it was kind of worth it to be fair because this just makes the experience so much more interesting. There's so many things that I am really surprised about, but, um, you know, there are so many things that DDLC Plus actually adds to not only the game, but the overall experience as well. We've got, oh my god, the virtual machine theme is genuinely so cool. It's, it's as if we're on a, a virtual machine that is only made for DDLC. We're going to explore a lot of the um, Easter eggs in this um you know in this port a lot later on but um yeah I just i'll just give you a quick little run through we have the files here you know we can actually delete monicard.chr there which is really quite convenient and oh my god we can kind of explore the files from the games what happens if we open this oh never mind <laughs> what if we <laughs> yeah there's a lot of things we can't delete which i don't think is a bad thing but um yeah, I've got mail, I suppose, and uh, yeah, yeah, there are so many cool little emails. They really add to the theme. Everything in this game, honestly, it really adds to the theme of, um, you know, everything in DDLC um, being a simulation. Obviously, the theme that Monica really, really expanded on. Also, the third eye related stuff as well. Can't forget about that. And um, yeah, I've got some music here. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to read this, honestly, because I have no idea what, to, what it's going to be about. I, I'd really, really hope that we're going to get more insight onto the characters. And um, yeah, the first one we're going to um, read is the trust story. So it looks like Monika and Natsuki. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's reasonable that she's there. Yeah, oh, that's going to be really quite exciting. So um, yeah, so the side stories are stories of friendships that are unrelated to the events of the main game. Yeah, no, that, that's not really a problem, to be honest. I mean, I don't know whether we're going to get context for main events, but yeah, honestly, it doesn't really matter as long as they're fun. <laughs> to get all six side stories, try writing poems for different characters and viewing their special scenes. Yeah, I think we've done that. <laughs> yeah, let's begin trust. Here we are. All right, I'll just check the recording and everything. Yeah, good. Right, here we are. Sounds really quite peaceful. God, this sounds really soothing. Oh my god, this is a new background. Bake sale, music club. What did that C, on that last word beginning with C say? I didn't like catch that. I couldn't really read the writing. Maybe that's where Monica's going before the literature club? I don't know. Oh my god. This sounds really quite soothing. Okay, everyone. The literature club's starting. Oh, so this is canon, yet Monica's talking about the literature club. Let's all have a seat and take attendance, okay? Ah. Oh, I missed a bait club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? Oh, no, 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 that's understandable, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 I mean, I get that she, in the base game, does have a very good personality that is obviously fitted for something like this. But at the same time, I mean, it still must be difficult, let's be honest. I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. Oh. I'm really starting to lose confidence. Oh, yeah, that's annoying. So I wonder I wonder if this is going to be a little story of how the Literature Club begins, because it seems, surprisingly, that the Literature Club initially had, you know, it really had negative feedback. People just didn't want to know. Monica is the only member of the Literature Club. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been through... Yeah, that, to be honest, it actually makes it seem impressive that there are four members in total. Before we join, obviously. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. Oh my god, she's already made fly- Oh, that's annoying. The headline is, do you like literature? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I totally agree. Yeah, maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over their club interests. Yeah, and some people, I mean, for example, Yudi, I mean, you really think, even if there was a club about literature, she'd want to go there, just because, I mean, she is ridiculously shy, so, I don't know. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them on a vision. A vision? Yeah, that's interesting that, um, you know, this was her idea from the beginning. But what kind of vision? Yeah, no fair. Monica rests her head on the desk, deep in thought. But before she realises it, um, the recent nights of staying up too late start to... 
Oh my god. Oh no. No way. Was she staying up too late, too late for the club? Oh, that's really sad if she was. And yet nobody is coming. It's so quiet and the noise of the air conditioning is... Oh god, it's soothing. Yeah, no, 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 fair enough. Yep, somebody's gone to sleep. Kind of like me right now, I'm quite tired. Um... Oh my god, who's this? Is this Natsuki? Oh my god, it's Sayori! Wow. God, this BGM is different. I'm scared it's too loud. Yeah, I should probably... Probably turn that down a bit. There we are. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious though. Um, hello? <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. So Sayori comes along and it actually implies that these people don't know each other. This is probably the first time in theory that they're meeting. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I never do this. <laughs> is this the napping club? Oh yeah, she she definitely want to join. No, this is Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the literature club. Yeah, I know. Fair. Oh, so this is a really quite a nice arrangement of um, one of the original themes. This is the literature club. Yeah, yeah. I thought I got it wrong for a sec. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like the worst impression. The club president sleeping. I'm super sorry. It was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Yep. I mean, fair enough, but if nobody's coming in, I can't, I can't blame her. <laughs> Don't apologize. I do that all the time. God, yeah, that. Yeah, we know why. Fucking hell. Oh. Oh my god, yeah, this is gonna be interesting to see what happens after this. Um, did I miss the club meeting? Where is everybody? What about that? <laughs> yeah, this is everybody. Really? Just you? Yeah, but we're getting more members. I'm working really hard, in, uh, hard on it. Oh my god, I love that Monica literally thinks that Sayori's gonna become a member. Just because of the fact that she's came here, she knows that Sayori's gonna join. I mean, okay, that's just... Yeah, but we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec. If it's just you. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means I get to be vice president. Wait, vice president? Um, <laughs> what are your qualifications? <laughs> well, I'm better at napping than you. Maybe I should be president. Is, are you really sure that this is the napping club? Maybe I should be president. No, ah, now you're just making fun of me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, what was your name? Sayori. Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but God, she has been though. I mean, making flyers and distributing them around the school and constantly expecting somebody to come in. You know, it's not difficult. Sorry, sorry, it's not easy. I mean, it is very difficult. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening not to be taken seriously. Oh my God, yeah, fair. I care so much about this. Yeah. I just want to find other people who do too. No, fair. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Yeah. No, that is fair. I do care, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair enough because I, I'm going to be honest. I think when she's serious, she's sad. Yeah, I have a hard time being serious. That's all. I didn't mean for it to be to hurt you. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Fair. And I was joking about the vice president thing too. Funny that she was the vice president in the end. I would make a terrible vice president. No, she wouldn't. Oh my god. I mean, I'm sure that Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she still doesn't know much about Sayori. Yeah, no, understandable, yeah. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found a few more members at least? Well, no. Oh yeah, that, that's that's probably one of the best things she could hear. I'm going to be honest here. I want to join now. Really? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. Oh no, that, that's really good. Yeah, besides, I can tell how hard you've been working. You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? Wow, God. Yeah, I mean, obviously Sayori did nearly accidentally make fun of Monica just because of, um, you know, being vice president and being better at napping than her. But still, I mean... Yeah, she's she's quick to turn the tables and show how nice she is. My God, you're doing something amazing and you should be a proud of it, you know? Yeah, I don't disagree. Yeah, so let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. No, fair. 
That's really nice. Yeah, if nothing else, I'm good at that. So, oh god, yeah, look at her own life. She, I mean, it's not a very happy life, but you know, she turns it into fun as well as she can, really. If nothing else, I'm good at that. So, honestly, how could I possibly, seriously, yeah, how could I possibly say no to that? Oh my god, I really wonder what we're gonna see when um, Natsuki and Yuri join. It's really sweet of you, Sayori. Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica. Such a cool name. Oh, now you're just, now you're just trying to cheer me up. <laughs> well, to be fair, it sounds very English as well. I suppose that's gonna be something in more Japanese-related names that, you know, would be significant. And now you're just trying to cheer me up. But yours might, yeah, it's working, to be fair. Well, I, did, I didn't say I didn't, but I like that. Yeah, Monica glances at the flyer on her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. Yeah, that is kind of surprising that, um, you know, Sayori didn't know that, but, um, yeah. God, did she not know that? So what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? Oh, yeah, nice. I really do wonder what she's going to do. We can go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. Yeah, no, I do wonder. Cool. And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for this club. You know, like a mission. <laughs> oh, no. No, isn't that interesting? It's always been her vision from the start. My vision, my mission is to make everyone happy. Yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. No, if it... <laughs> hey, do you like hugs? I guess so. Damn. They've literally just met each other. I can't believe how... Well, not... I mean, to be fair, though, I suppose they are kind of right to, for each other. I just can't believe how intimate she is. So, Ollie suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug. Then let's go. <laughs> Some people can really just use a hug sometimes. Besides... Sayori whisp whispers loudly. Oh. Hug energy is what keeps me at my best. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I just have one scene in mind. Holy shit. H hug energy. <laughs> oh yes. We have a kinetic, gravitational, I don't know, nuclear, electrostatic, uh, thermal, chemical... Uh, geomorph geothermal, geomorphic, stuff like that. We have all those types of energies. But no, 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 no. The new energy is hug energy. <laughs> hug energy and thermal energy. I think they'd be closely associated. <laughs> and kinetic energy, I suppose. Because your heart will beat more. <laughs> and you get a little bit more embarrassed. So you'd exert more heat. That's what I'm trying to say. Hug energy. Monica laughs. <laughs> Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica. Yeah, no, that's nice. Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But, well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. No, I, I know. I'm really excited to, um, you know, actually see what they're going to come up with. I'm going to think really hard tonight about how to get more people. Yeah, me too. I really like this, um, little theme here.
God, isn't that interesting? It's really interesting just to see how innocent and how fun everything is before, obviously, the main turning points of the story are realized. But the only thing that is really, really odd about this is, could you imagine if, you know, that Monica is a higher plane of existence? I mean, could you imagine if all of this was orchestrated, all of this was staged? So you can either think about the fact that this is genuine and, um, I don't know, I suppose you could think it was us coming, which was the turning point from Monica and why she became absolutely horrible. You know, for example, telling Sayori, you know, just making her depression worse and worse. And, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose we've also got to think about, um, you know, whether that Monica was just is the same Monica as this one. You can think of it as either something that was fully planned or something that wasn't. I don't know. I, I kind of prefer not to think of it as something that was fully planned. But the thing is, if I think like that, it doesn't fully add up. So I kind of have to think that this was all fully planned by Monica. It's really cool, this. I love that. Um, a day passes and the time comes for the literature club, Monica and Sayori, to reconvene. reconvene. Wait, actually, no, I can't know whether this is fully planned or not. Maybe she got this higher plane of existence after she joined the literature club. Who knows? I mean, it, it's genuinely impossible to tell. So it could be both. I don't know. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Oh. But she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. Oh, damn. It's been 10 minutes already. Oh. Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining. No, I can't be. She was so excited yesterday. Oh god, no, I know. It's really annoying. Like, there's so many times in the club where you're just waiting for somebody. They're never gonna need to come, though, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, that can't be. She was so excited yesterday. But I'm getting kind of worried. Suddenly, Sayori comes bounding through the door. Oh, nice. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry, I'm late. I'm here. That's okay. Welcome back. That's good that she forgives her. Nice. And Sayori spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet onto Monica's desk. Ooh, what's this? Oh my god! Wow, that's actually really interesting. So, no, you've got to be kidding me. So Sayori, it is so much of a literature club that she's quite literally used her literary techniques to write a poem in order to, you know, persuade Monica why she should actually join. That's really sweet. So take my hand, take my hand, take me forward, take me to your dreamland. Forcing me to watch my steps so I can't look back at my footprints. Now that's interesting, yeah, you only go forward, you don't look back whatsoever. Because if you look back, then you can't focus on the future, I suppose. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. Hmm. I like that, yeah. The more I look forward, the more I look up, the more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set... That's really good. If you can trust me to lend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. That's really nice. Take my hand, take me forward. Hmm, take me to your dream. That's really well written, my god. Hey, this is really good. Seriously, yeah! I mean, god, she didn't join this literature, um, literature club for no reason. Fucking hell. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course. Wait. We know. <laughs> oh my god, that's the wrong side of the paper. Huh? I wasn't ready. Oh god, what was, what was on the other side though, I wonder? I wasn't ready to share that. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club. Oh, I see. <laughs> Yeah, so obviously like, emphasize poetry and emphasize talent. Because let's be honest, um, Natsuki and Yuri, I mean, I get that they have a disagreement every single time they talk to each other, but still, you know, they do have that. So they do have that shared liking of poetry. So yeah, make it so that that is a thing that's advertised. Monica flips over the paper. Written on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Nice. That's really good. Oh, so this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now. Do you write poetry off? I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, no, I, I could see that. I mean, I could see a person like Sayori. I mean, I'm, I'm just genuinely surprised she does. But, um, you know, they have a need to express their feelings. The reason why I'm surprised at the fact that she has enough time and motivation to do poetry is just because 
you know, she has laziness as a real problem from her depression. It's just kind of surprising that she would actually want to pick up the pen and, you know, go through such a meticulous thought process just to get a poem as good as that down on paper. It is surprising. I do, but... Yeah, I'm sure... I'm sure I'm not ne anywhere near as good as it. Really? Oh god, I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. Oh god. I've never written anything I was happy with. To be fair, maybe other people could be. Like, I always read it, uh, again, a week after I write it, and I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree. Oh yeah, with the person I want myself to be. Or something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you should have more confidence in yourself. You're the literature club president. Yeah, fair enough. Guess you're not wrong there. I need to set a good example, like, set a good example of whatever. Hmm. You know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? Yeah, 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 you know, like, sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I'd love that. It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? True, yeah, same for Yudi, oh my god. And same for her, actually, yeah. It's like, we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people. Usually. Yeah, no, fair. But you can't when it's in a poem, right? No, 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 fair enough. Yeah. I think that's helping me form a more cohesive vision for the club. Yeah, no, fair. So I'm glad you showed me. Well, even though it was by ac even though it was by accident, I love that. <laughs> Me too. I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels kind of good that somebody else read it. No, that is that is fair. Yeah, I'll try to show you more of them in the future. No, that's really good. I wonder how many of Sayori's poems are going to be shown. I'd love that. Oh jeez, I'm getting distracted. Oh my god, yeah. Do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? My, my brain stormed so hard. <laughs> it was like a brain... Oh my god, that is the worst pun I've ever seen. It was like a brain hurricane. <laughs> my brain is a natural disaster. <laughs> Sayori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. <laughs> oh my god, so that was... I mean, I don't really think... USP is an accurate term because, you know, unique selling point. That's not really what they're trying to do. But, like, a unique joining point, maybe? Oh, my God, I love that. Make cupcakes. <laughs> I was hungry. But it's a good idea, isn't it? Um, let me, th let me think about this. I mean, when would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? Before the literature club. Before it starts. Yeah, yeah, seriously. You know, like, when they come into the club. What if we said we have three cupcakes on the fly? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah, fair enough, yeah. I don't disagree. I'm kind of worried that I'll bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? Yeah, 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 seriously. People would just come for the cupcakes and then leave. Oh, nobody would do that. Come on, of course they would. That would be mean. But you know, I want to find people who are really into literature. Yeah, not just people who are into cupcakes. <laughs> Natsuki is their best bet. She's into both of them. Even if they don't know it yet. That's understandable. I mean, you could just find people who, you know, they don't know whether they like literature or not, but they could go into the club just to see whether, you know, it's for them or not. Let's see the next thing on the list. Hunt for, pe hunt for people reading books. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, you'd eat. Holy shit. I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I think that is a really suitable idea. But the only thing is you can't be a fucking creep, which I think... I, I don't want to say it's going to be hard to do, but it's not really going to be the easiest <laughs> to do, to literally hunt for people. Yet, um, you know, make it so that you don't look like a creep. <laughs> like going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Well, you don't necessarily have to look like a creep, but... It would just be kind of odd if people notice you always searching for people and only talking to people who are reading. I don't know. I'd just be kind of paranoid doing it. <laughs> like going around school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch. No, 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 no. Yeah, during lunch. Good idea. And we tell them to check out the literature club. Well, the problem with that is... 
Wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? No? Oh, I mean, to be fair, if they have English class or something like that. How would we know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could ask them. Fair enough, yeah. But yeah, no, that is a good point. But maybe you're not. It's a 50-50 chance. But then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part, I'm sorry. I don't apologise. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Uh, no, fair enough, yeah. Oh, your yeah, next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just to put them up on the wall. Yeah, to be honest, that is a good idea. But the only thing is, what if somebody doesn't want it? It's just going to be wasted paper if somebody just bins it after. My right, next idea is to hand out flyers rather than just put them up on the wall. I'd definitely like to start doing that. Yeah. No, that is fair. I do wonder, maybe, maybe if she... I think what they should do is they should look for anybody who, um... Who's reading a book yet doesn't really have any... No, they don't really have any incentive. They're just doing it for pleasure. So, you know, you get all of those people and you give them flyers and then hopefully you can find an audience. I'm useful. I never said you weren't. <laughs> I just need to think, what would we tell people when handing them out? Now, that is fair. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, yeah. I don't want to just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out how we can better engage people. No, that is fair. Yeah. Make this school great again by joining the literature club. Where we write poems, talk, have fun, develop connections, make cupcakes, kapow. You're on the US presidential election. <laughs> what if you tell them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really quite funny to be to think that Sayori at first was the one joking about whether she wanted to become a vice president or not. And now she kind of is being a vice president. She is doing everything that is required of a vice president, let's be honest here. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori. <laughs> Pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? <laughs> well, this is going to have bias. This is not an accurate test. Probably like... <laughs> yeah, no fair. Literature is stupid. I'm joining, the, I'm joining the anime. Oh my god, they are quite literally being us. I'm joining the anime club. What the heck? Oh, sorry. I was, just I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Yep. Okay, what if I said, like, we do a group reading and discuss it together? Hmm. I'll probably, I'll probably nap through that. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, it is going to be quite hard to find a task that appeals to her. But look, the answer has already been given to you. It's poetry, mate. You, you need poetry. <laughs> I'll probably nap through that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound much fun to most people anyway. Yeah, no, definitely. And also what's kind of inconvenient about that is you need to have read the book Disgust, which is quite hard. It's quite hard to find people who have read the same book, especially if the book's less common. If it's a more common one, sure, it's easy. But if it's not, then yeah. We need to really catch their interest, you know? Ugh, this sucks. Why is this? Uh, oh my god, seriously. But the only thing is, I mean, it's gonna be worth it. Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about literature, Sayori? Yeah. Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you a chance to express yourself. It does, though, seriously. To be honest, I don't any literature that you write does, but I can see why poems would be the best because they're short, they can. Well, they can. You can write loads of them and you can give a temporary emotion through that poem, really. And no, it's just good that because, I mean. No, it's good that you can temporarily and more quickly explain an emotion and then you can refine it and you can make it something you're really proud of and something that, you know, has a lot of significance to you. And I'm, I'm assuming, like, if I, if I did poetry, then, you know, every single time I do a poem, like, in. 10 20 years in retrospective i would probably just think that well, i'll probably just be really 
happy and I just remember there will be so many memories associated with each one as well, which would be really quite cool, honestly. Yeah, you know, I think it gives you a chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways you can't normally do. Yeah, seriously, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we all have so many thoughts and feelings that we just don't get to share, you know? Oh my god, yeah. So, yeah, she does. It's intimate. Yeah, no, 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 I see that, yeah. How do we get that across to people? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. How do you use the word intimate without obviously striking... Uh, well, striking some... Striking thoughts that something may be a little bit odd to some people. How do we get that across to people? We could be, like, express your true self. Be into... <laughs> <laughs> Be intimate with her. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's kind of. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. What? What is it? Oh. Oh shit. I forgot all of my things in the classroom. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah, she was still ten minutes late. Holy fuck. I must still. I must have gotten too excited and rushed here. Silly me. Rushed, but weren't. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh my god. Oh, never mind. Did you want to get your stuff then? I forget if I don't do it now. Yeah, no, no, no. Understandable. Yeah. Well, I'll wait for you then. Well, it'll only take a second. So he dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts on a sheet of paper. Hmm, express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Yeah, no, no, no. I could see. I could see, um, especially stuff like this. I mean, holy fuck, that would be good for somebody like Yudi. It still surprised me that somebody like Yudi, somebody as unsociable as Yudi, would join. I wonder what made her join. Make new friends. Discover a new you. Yeah, no, no, no. Discover your heart. No. I like, I prefer that one, yeah. I think discover your heart is, that's just too deep. I mean, this is literature club. This is not a self-help session. Write your heart out. No. Right into your heart. Yeah, right the way into your heart. That's interesting. Yeah, no, 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 I totally see that. And especially, especially this one. The thing is, people who are who people who aren't into it, they're just gonna think it's cheesy BS. But people people who are, they're really going to. I think they're really gonna um, resonate with that. And the great thing is, though, that's part of Monica's first poem. I like that little reference there. Join the literature club. Right the way into your heart. Wow, that's lame. <laughs> I think it would work. Monica. Oh. You startled me. <laughs> Sorry. But it's something important. <laughs> oh my god. On the way to the classroom, there was a girl reading a book. <gasps> reading a book. Hang on a second. So Monica stays after school to read a book. Let's, ha Let's hurry and recruit her. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Wait, you saw she's not just doing homework. Ah. Uh. I could tell she was really into it. Um, well, I guess we could take a look. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be really interesting. I bet you this is Yudi. Well, yeah, a book. Why would it be Natsuki? Genuinely, she reads manga, not a book. I really like this. I, I think I think that's really good. <laughs> when would you ever have to read a book for a homework piece? I mean. I don't understand reading a news article, but a book. I mean, to be fair, I I, I suppose the only I do I do a news article for geography. Uh, I don't really know what you'd read for computer science. You could read books for physics, to be fair. I suppose you could read books for maths as well. No, I don't. I don't really think so. Those are the subjects that I'm doing. I mean. You could in theory. 
Because I, I know a lot of books on number that do exist and a lot of theories regarding numbers. Monica, Monica grabs one of our flyers and stands up from her desk. Oh my god, this is going to be really fun. Then the two depart the classroom with Sayori leading the way to the rec recruitment stage. Right, this is going to be fun this way. You don't have to run. <laughs> oh my god, that must be so cheesy. Sayori leads Monica over to a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See you in here. <laughs> I love this. Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting there, intently reading a book. Target spotted, motherfucker. <laughs> yes, seriously, I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her. Me? You're the president, and I'll probably scare her away. No. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. That was fast. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why, what happened? Oh no, did she reject? Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I entered the classroom and she didn't even look up from her, but no, 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 fully understandable. Oh yeah, 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 no, 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 fair enough, yeah. So I kind of just left the flyer on her desk and then what? My god, that must be embarrassing. Oh my god. So you're just fully, fully absorbed into a book and... Yeah, god, that's actually kind of concerning to think about. Well, it's just kind of surprising. I don't know whether it's concerning. It's just... No, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I think it is a... I think it just says a lot about Yudi's situation. Maybe there's a bad situation at home. I don't know. You know, the fact that she's staying this late after school, you know, by herself as well. And, you know, it's just as if the book is her world and she's just completely disconnected from anything else. It is really odd, I mean. Yeah, maybe it's just because of the fact that she gets the quietest space here, but I'm just surprised. I mean, I don't know. I just wonder if that tells you more about, you know, Yudi's feelings, really. So I kind of just left the flyer on her desk and then walked out. No, that's that's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of cute. That would be so weird. But like, you've read it and then you'll read. And then you just see as a reward for reading. Join the literature club. But I'm sure she'll see it and want to join the club. Yeah, she will. My God. I hope so. Shall we head back now? Yeah. And the two head back to the classroom. Sayori feeling rather accomplished. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So already feeling rather accomplished and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. <laughs> Upon returning, Monica and Sayori resume their strategy meeting. They discuss various different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. Nice. After going through Sayori's list, and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two end in a better spot than from where they began. Yeah, nice. No, 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 fair. Well, I would say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah, and as a result of that, they're going to gain a new member. There's no way that person was not Yudi. Yeah, I think we're starting to make progress. Can't wait to guess a new member. Oh my god, no, I know, I know. Yeah, it's going to be really quite cool to see how everything changes. And Yudi's first encounter, she's probably going to be so, so shy. Poor her. But yeah, I can't wait to get some new members. It was this. Sayori peers at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. I don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself, join the literature club right the way into your heart. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. I thought it was a little way dramatic. It kind of is, but at the same time, I do think it kind of works. But Sayori pauses and thinks for a moment, you know. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Nah, seriously, because I think that is really good, yeah. What do you mean? Like, I don't know, I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. Hmm. Feels like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. No, I mean, to be honest, if you're in this high of a, you know, if you've got this much to lose, I do see why. You really want to make something happen, but it may not. So, of course, you've got a lot to lose. You've got a lot of... A lot of emotional investment in it. Of course, you want to make it as good as possible. You don't want everything to go wrong. Seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but would you call yourself a perfectionist? Nah, no, I wouldn't. Oh, never mind. I'm seriously surprised about that. Wow. 
Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I want things to go. Yeah, that's reasonable. Just make that idea fulfilled as much as possible. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. No, fair. But I think in the end, it helps me try my hardest at everything. So I don't think it's that bad. I don't know, I can see that. Like, with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. True. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. Yeah, no, that is fair. I mean, what else could they do, to be honest? Yeah. So I'm just really afraid of it deviating from that. The vision. What's the vision? It's... Monica pauses to think, then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. Don't know. Just want everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Sayori taps her finger against a sheet of papers. Yeah, work the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do... Yeah, is to make the club that you need the most out of anybody. You're the one... Well, you're the one who knows yourself best, of course. But I'm here to help you. Yeah, Monica... Oh my god, yeah, yeah, like part of her poem. Monica returns part of Sayori's smile. It's sort of amazing how kind you are. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree, actually. I think it's really unusual. We're really going to make this the best club ever. No, I don't disagree. I think they're going to do a really good job. Sayori nods, and the two remain silent for a moment. Lost in thought. Oh, yeah, the only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Hmm. <laughs> As Ayodi breaks the moment with a big yawn. Time to go home? You tell me you're the president. In that case, today's meeting is officially over. Yeah, my god. First presidential line. <laughs> I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Sayori beams and grabs her things. You can go on ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's alright. I just want some alone time. Hmm, in that case... Yeah, Sayori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck. Yeah, that's going to be really interesting. Monica smiles and waves in return. Oh, is that new BGM? Might be. Monica smiles and waves in return as Sayori spins her way out of the club room. Hmm. All alone, she sighs to herself and takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori. Oh yeah, no, 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 fair. She decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most. Don't get it. Hmm. Well, no, I suppose you really want that club to go successful. It's really personal to you if you don't. And I can see why. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to help people... Help lead people to happiness. Hmm. Yeah, literature is the key to that. Because it's the window to the real person inside of us. Yeah, that is interesting. Oh, no, no, no. I totally see that. Especially with Monica. You know, she has... I, rem I just remember something about her having a lot of... Well, her just not really being this perfect person that everybody always thinks is just amazing. And, you know, just having quite a lot of difficulty actually trying to hide... Just, um... Whoa. How difficult it might be just on the inside, really. Sort of like Sayori, very similar to her, actually. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be perfect. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did Sayori leave this behind? God, I hope it doesn't have her homework in. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. Oh my god, that's the worst. Oh shit, she probably didn't intend for this to be looked at by Monica. Okay, at least Monica has it. It's a folder full of poems. Hmm. Oh my god, is this one of the poems that... Oh my god. 
that's interesting. Oh yeah, I remember this part. That's really interesting. So I suppose the overall message is like, well, I suppose here you have somebody who really wants to become happy. So what she does is she constantly relies on other things for happiness. But it's as if when you do that, everything disappears in the end. And, you know, as a result of that, she needs to become the thing that causes people, causes people happiness. What the? Wait, Sayori. Oh. It was a random ending? My god, that was really fun. I enjoyed that. I got some new pictures. I got Monica, we got Sayori. Weird little um desktop pictures. I prefer the I don't really like the new art style to be honest. I've got two poems for Sayori. I've got another poem here. Yeah, that's every Sayori poem. Uh anything else? No, it doesn't look like it. That was really sweet. I enjoyed that. Yeah, some very, very good Ost as well, by the way. I really like this one. Yeah, this one was nice. Right, so I suppose um, let's go on to the second side story now. Oh, we can't see what we've read in the previous story. No, but that was really quite sweet, and my god, I think from that, I don't really know what, I don't really know how much Monica's read. It's kind of dangerous, because Sayori obviously has a lot of depression-related poems, and, you know, I mean, I guess, I guess it's going to be discovered at some point. It's not really something that she wants to have discovered, though. I mean, I get that they're, they obviously have an interest, and they've got a friendship that's happened really quite quickly, but at the same time, I mean, it's not something you want other people seeing, so, you know, I'd hope it's all right. I don't know. Another day passes in a flash, and it's already time for the next club meeting. Hmm, that's good. It's interesting to think about what's going to happen. Oh, oh my god, yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, although Monica should have come up with a plan for today's club tasks, she hasn't been able to shake her guilt and anxiety after reading Sayori's poem. I'm so stupid. How did I let myself be the center of attention? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's interesting. No, I feel like she has read a lot of her, you know, let's be honest, more vulnerable poems. And yeah, no, I think it's really nice that, oh, it's horrible that she's realised this. But at the same time, I suppose, you know, this will just really encourage her to be more and more kind. Oh, God, yeah, I don't know how you're going to break it to her, the fact that you've read them. Yeah, Sayori's going through this kind of, these kind of feelings and I'm just letting her comfort me instead of the other way around. Oh my god, yeah, 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 totally. 
Yeah, no, it is kind of weird. You let the person who is suffering comfort the person who is not suffering rather than the other way around. But then again, that just adds to her suffering. That's the worst thing. What kind of club president does that? This whole time, I didn't think to ask about her own feelings. No, that's fair. And it's really interesting how she's just totally, you know, like that's what she does. That is the thing that Sayori, that makes Sayori Sayori. She always puts other people before herself. Always. This whole time, I didn't think to ask her about her own feelings. So much for the stupid vision. Well, I mean, obviously you're a little bit sad now, but you don't have to... This doesn't have to be the be-all and end-all. Yeah, Sayori enters the club room with her usual smile. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, fair, but upon seeing the downcast Monica, her smile quickly fades into an expression of concern. Yeah, no, I, I really don't blame her. Monica, is everything okay? Yeah, God, how is she going to break it to her? I'm really sorry. I'm such a terrible friend. What are you talking about? You're an amazing friend. Yeah, that's really good that she realises that. And to be fair, the fact that Monica, after having read Sayori's poems, is, you know, thinking, just simply thinking what she is thinking, I think that proves that she's a really good friend. And, you know, I'm sorry, but if you think that, then it's not just going to end on a standstill. You are going to do something about it. You're an amazing friend. Monica shakes her head. Yeah, she's totally in denial. I made this all about myself. Even you said so yesterday. Oh, no, 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 no. That is fair, yeah. Yeah. You told me that I'm trying to make this... Trying to me that I'm trying to make the club I, that I need the most, right? But... Yeah, no, that is fair. Yeah, but my problems are so trivial compared to yours. Sayori responds quietly. What are you talking about? But she says that her face darkens. Yeah, she probably realised that she forgot the poems. Yeah, through the silence, Sayori mutters her realisation. Yeah. I left my folder here. Monica says blankly ahead. Yeah, yeah, unable to come up with a response. I wasn't ready to share that. No, 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 I don't blame her. Yeah. Now you're worrying about me, I don't want that. But why? Yeah, no, 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 I agree, but we're friends, right? Wordlessly, Sayori... God, yeah. Friends look out for each other. Yeah, no, 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 fully fair. But this is not something that Sayori wants. It's a really complex situation. I want to be here for you as much as you are here for me. Another long moment passes in silence. Yeah, no, fair. The air is incredibly heavy. This is different. Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, it wasn't just about you yesterday. It was about the club. Besides... Yeah. Things were so happy yesterday. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, obviously, she can't help but feel so, so bad for her. But if by feeling happy and having the best, not only club, but, you know, atmosphere in general is what Sayori wants, then give it to her. Just don't ponder upon, you know, obviously the sad things that she's going through. Yeah, you don't need to do this all of a sudden. I don't want it. Yeah, I like happy. So if you do this, then you're just being selfish. I mean, obviously it's going to be hard for Monica to be happy and it's only a normal response for a friend just to feel like this after realising what's truly going on. But, um, yeah. And you're just being selfish. Monica massages her forehead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Struggling through the frustration of such a paradox. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, it's understandable that Sayori isn't ready to share certain things. But it's unfair as it is for Monica to pry. It's also... Oh, my God, I, I know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but as unfair as it is for Monica to pry, it's also painful for Monica to force herself to ignore the needs of her friends. But it's just a... I see why it's a paradox, because ignoring the needs of a friend, i.e. doing the opposite of what any friend would do, is also the thing that would make her the most happy. I mean, it's really unusual. Yeah. I don't blame her. I'm sorry I looked. 
I disrespected your privacy. No, that is fair, yeah. I do see that. No, I don't blame you for... To be fair, it is just basic instinct, but... Yeah, I don't blame you for looking. You would have... True. Yeah, and I mean, I'm going to be honest, a lot of the stuff that Sayori writes, I mean, it is really, really good. So, of course, she is going to... Of course, it's going to be stuff that once you look at, you just can't help yourself. Yeah, you would have at least needed to check if it was mine. Yeah. Monica takes a deep breath. Yeah, I wonder what she's going to say. Okay. I understand that you don't want me to worry. And I think I'll be able to put this aside so that we can move on. Yeah, I mean, she's kind of got no choice. Because you, I mean, if she's realised just how horrible what she's going through is, then, you know, she will know that she doesn't want to do anything that could potentially bring it on. Which, unfortunately, this is. It's really sad to think, but I don't, I don't think it's far-fetched to think that. <laughs> I think I'll be able to put this aside so that we can move on. But can you promise me something? Mm. Promise you what? Monica pauses to collect her thoughts. This is the literature club. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah, it's a place where people can express themselves in the ways that life normally doesn't allow them to. That's the vision. In fact, it's our vision. Yeah, I'll work the way into your heart or whatever. So I just want you to promise me that you'll remember that too. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be right now, but I want to be here for you when you need it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, fair. Yeah, I want us to be ourselves like that. Say so all these smiles gently. Yeah, yeah, I'll promise it if you promise. Unable to help it, Monica returns Say all these smile. Oh, no, that's good. I promise. Me too. As the conversation closes, the mood in the room is lifted. Yeah, no, that's really good. Without behind them, it's time to proceed with the club activities. So... Hmm. Want to teach me about poetry? Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's going to be interesting. But what about recruitment? It's fine, we have plenty of time for that. But right now, I feel like I want to do this. I mean, I do have to fulfill my end of the promise, you know? Yeah, no, 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 fair enough. There's no way I can say no to that. Just don't expect much. Oh, no, 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 that is fair. Yeah, I do a lot of writing, but it's not like I'm a scholar or anything. That's fine. I think I just need some motivation. I never know where to start when it comes to writing poems. No, that is fair. I really do wonder what she's going to say. Also, I wonder if Yuri's going to join today... Starting isn't so hard. Oh, I just find it really, really nice just to think of, you know, how quickly it can move forward. They really do have a pleasant friendship. It is great. You kind of just need to write down your feelings and see where it takes you. Yeah, maybe just write them on blank and then try to do something more with them. Yeah, but that wouldn't come out any good. It's not supposed to. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. I see that. Yeah, you're going to have to fight your perfectionist mind on this one. You can just start by writing your feelings and see what kind of things it makes you think of. Hmm. And then you can turn your feelings into a little story. No, that is fair. Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. You can get your feelings down first and then make it sound pretty later. It's like, it's not like building on a Railroad where you go from one end to the other. Yeah. It's more like a collage where you find all the things you want to put in and then you arrange them in a pretty way. Oh no, I like that. But I suppose you could think about the fact that it is kind of like a railroad because you arrange these things in sequence. You arrange them so that, you know, you go from the top of the poem to the bottom of the poem. Unless it's a really weird poem that doesn't end at the bottom. But still, yeah, I hope you see what I mean. The ideas are sort of arranged kind of like a metaphorical railroad you know, when you just go down the page. At least that's how I do it. It's not, it's not like it's the only way, but it's a really good way to not get stuck right at the beginning. No, that, that is fair. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, I always get so caught up in how it sounds that 
I forget about what's actually important. Yeah. No, that is fair. You, you get so caught up in how it sounds, rather than any of, you know, the actual theming behind it. I wonder what Yudi's background on poem is going to, poetry is going to be. I wonder how many she's written before. Because she demonstrates an experience that, you know, let's be honest, not many people would have. Monica pulls out a pen and paper to start writing on. Stop being a perfectionist. You idiot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Monica scribbles out, you idiot, after she writes it down. No, keep it. Wait, why? Are you calling me? Are you calling me an idiot? <laughs> of course not. Oh, no, 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 no. That is fair. Yeah, if you just have something, get it down. And I suppose there's nobody in charge, there's nobody in control, there's nobody who will penalise you for it. So there's no... It's just kind of as if it's your place to think, really. It's interesting, that. And it is really interesting how this could also tie to everything that we see in DDLC as well. I do really wonder if this kind of has a reflection on um, the people who wrote this game. <laughs> I really do wonder if anything here relates to the thought process they were processes they were going through when they were writing this game. I I really do wonder. No, 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 I, I like that, policing. It's a really interesting little phrase, that. Be as dramatic as you want. But I was just... Well, yeah. Underneath the scribble, Monica rewrites, You idiot. She stares at the paper. It's interesting that Monica just feels as if she 
really just has a vision of something and she wants to make that her vision and i mean that is a that could be a really good thing especially if that vision does actually come no vision does actually come something become something that has been finished but at the same time i mean if it doesn't then you know it could be really bad it's properly hit and miss and the thing is i suppose being a perfectionist let's be honest it can lead to people just being too passionate about something which yeah i got i've been through quite a lot and never again to be honest i don't want that feeling again it's horrible underneath the scribble monica rewrites you idiot she stares at the paper oh i like that yeah her words stare back at her it's kind of funny how i wrote down what i'm mad at myself for and then i did that exact same thing anyway No, 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 that is fair. This is really going to take some getting used to. <clears throat> I believe in you. Thanks, I do too. <laughs> Me, I mean. I oh, know you shouldn't have said that, but yeah, I mean, obviously she... Yeah, 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 good, good. If she didn't say that, oh my god, that would have been so bad. But also you, of course. Monica continues the exercise, jotting down her thoughts. It's surprisingly quite a struggle to write without overthinking it. No, but to be fair, she said, there's no policing your thoughts. You you know, they can infinitely throw freely as well. You know, do overthink it. This is your chance to overthink it. If anything, a lot of really, really good poetry, let's be honest, it's just, I mean, I think Sayori's poems are a really good example. You just take like one emotion and one overall theme and then you just completely overthink it and think everything you possibly can about that and you create something that's actually really fucking good. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But after a while, with Sayori's guidance and encouragement, Monica's sheet of paper begins to look fairly lively. Oh no, that's great. Yeah, peppered with all kinds of her random thoughts. God, I mean, you're really, really lucky that she's really, really lucky. The fact that Sayori is a person who isn't malicious, because my God, if she was, then yeah, these thoughts, they would be, yeah, they'd be taken out of context. They really would be. And they could be used against her if you're in the wrong environment. You. Monica looks up and down at her sheet. I should feel so tense looking at this. I hate it. Yeah, that's interesting because I feel as if she's probably just writing about the things that are bad in her life. Like, everything on that paper is a collection of how bad her life is. But it's also kind of liberating. I can tell how hard you're trying. It makes me happy. No, she's probably influenced by, properly influenced by um, everything that's um, being taught to her. I, I see that. Yeah, I can tell how hard you're trying. It makes me happy. I think you'll be good at writing poems. No, yeah, that's good. And no, I, I think they were good as well. I do. Don't give me too much credit. I'd have to try really, really hard at it. Well, you've got a lot of time. But I think it's something that I'll enjoy doing. No, that's fair. With you. Oh my god, yeah, fair. Sayori beams. I'll stop here, but we still have time. Let's try to work on a new flyer for the club. I won't be so picky about the language. Oh yeah, nice. So they're not actually using a computer or a printing or anything. Monica and Sayori proceed with their work. With each passing day, the two of them become more confident in the club. That's great, yeah. Not simply from their recruitment planning, but from their vision as well. No, that's fair. Yeah, that's really good. As their bond strengthens, so does the essence of the literature club. Yeah, no, 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 fair enough. I mean, they deserve it. And even if it isn't, even if it isn't something they get, I mean, look at how much fun they have hanging out. Of course they can just do it. Um, you know, of course they can just do those two together. And it's really, really nice to think that because of Monica just wanting something perfect, wanting something that she feels is truly right for her, she's, and because of this said perfectionist mindset, if you ask me, she's found a friend. A really, really good friend, can I just say. Finally, they begin to feel it's only, I truly feel it's only a matter of time before they find new more new members so now we're probably going to see 
I hope we see Yudi now. Another day passes. As usual, Monica is the first one to the club room. Oh my god, yeah, with her as a printout of the revised literature club flyer. Oh, so they do print it, right. Maybe they just have their own computers. Print out of the revised literature club flyer. Complete with all the new ideas Monica and Sayori came up with. Nice. Oh, yeah, now I see that. Yeah, because she probably doesn't sound the most convinced. But the only thing is, I mean, with Yudi, let's be honest here. She is going to be somebody who will find it difficult because of the social nature of it. But, um, yeah. If only this was the flyer we gave to that one reading girl the other day. Oh, no. oh yeah, that's quite annoying. It's so much more attractive than the old one, but... Hmm. The new catchphrase is featured clearly in the centre of the flyer. Right the way into your heart. Yeah, no, fair. Surely common sense would say that one writes from the heart, not into the heart. No, nah, but it is interesting because it's as if the more you write, the more you discover about what's truly in there, really. Yeah, no, fair enough. Hopefully, Monica and Sayori um, had thought that it would be enough to garner some curiosity from students. Hmm. Well, that's fair enough. Why do I feel so tense looking at this? Monica thinks back to the previous meeting when um, she performed the writing exercise. Hmm. Hold up. Well, this music is so calm, I really like it. No, no, I think it's really quite funny that Monica, the person who has quite literally made this club, is also the person who I think this message is really applying to. It's really quite funny to think about the fact that starting a new club, even though it's never really something you've intended, has 
inadvertently made your well made you more able to discover more stuff about yourself. It's it's actually really cool. Was I always this bad at expressing myself? No, 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 no way. I think it's just because of the fact that she's never done it in her life before. And she's just, this is totally new to her. It's not that she's bad. And I can kind of see her perfectionist mindset here. How am I supposed to be president if I can't even demonstrate what the club is supposed to be about? Nah, but the only thing is, I suppose, Sayori being vice president, that is very convenient. But secondly, you can learn. You really can learn. Yeah, the literature club is truly beginning to take form. But with that... No, I do see that though, yeah. The weight on Monica's shoulders only becomes heavier. Debate club was always about rigid structure. Formulating airtight points and counterpoints. And delivering them with conviction. Yeah, no, I see that. It's just kind of... This is really, really subjective and that one was really objective. I suppose. Well, it's objectivity based on subjectivity from opinion. Well, no, 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 hang on a second. So, well, there is no objective answer, but... Well, no, I suppose you've got to use your opinion to form a point or a counterpoint that's, re that's you know, filled with confidence, and then you've got to deliver it with confidence. But the only thing is, this doesn't really have that element of it, really. Debate club was always about rigid structure, formulating airtight points and counterpoints and delivering them with conviction. Yeah, 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 no, 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 totally. Oh, yeah, I like that as well. It was about the person on the outside. That's why Monica was so good about it. Oh, yeah, good at it. It existed entirely within her realm of comfort. No, that is, that is totally fair. And suffocating. Hmm, I need to break through this mental wall. Yeah, no, that is really interesting. Yeah, I need to learn to express myself for real. Monica pulls out a sheet of paper and grabs her pen. She presses the tip of the pen firmly against the paper. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's really annoying. No, it's kind of annoying. Like, I feel kind of bad because she has so much pressure just to do this. And not only because of the fact that she really wants to, but she just doesn't have much idea how. But it's also because, firstly, it's a difficult thing to do. But secondly, it's also because, um, you know, she's got quite a lot of pressure. If she doesn't do this, how is she going to conduct a literature club? But the thing is, I, I think she's misunderstanding something. She doesn't need to do this. All she really needs to run the club is in, an interest in literature. If you have a member who knows how to do this, that's good enough, if you ask me. Obviously, she's a perfectionist. Of course, she wants to master the skill. But still, you don't fully need it, is what I'm trying to say. But her hand doesn't move. Oh, yeah, no. And isn't it really interesting? That is a feeling that she then wrote about. Instead, a tiny blot of ink collects around the tip of her pen. Monica lifts her pen and stares at the little blot. For some reason, she feels compelled to run her finger across it. Hmm. As she does so, the blank ink smears across the paper, ruining Monica's canvas. Out of spite for herself, Monica presses her pen down once again, letting the ink collect. She creates a second smile on the paper. Come on, Monica. Just move your hand. Monica writes. Hmm. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, that's incredibly just... It's incredibly... Well, I suppose here it's as if... Well, it's a foundation. Wouldn't really call that. Well, it could be poetic, but I don't know. Monica slides the paper away from her and puts her head down on the. God, yeah, she's totally burnt out. Hmm. What's going to happen now? Oh no, is she going to sleep? Yeah, no, I do find it really interesting that she always naps. I think. I really, really think that this appearance on the outside and just not really being able to contact much of the 
self on the inside i think that really really takes a toll on her i think she's really stressed about it i mean look at how many times and to be fair maybe a school day could be really fulfilling so maybe that could be it as well the air conditioner seems louder today mm, yeah she's probably gonna sleep i'm here hi oh oh yeah yeah monica here's sayori approach her desk then stop for a second probably reading the piece of paper then she sits down in the adjacent desk. Bad day? Mm-hmm. Yep. Me too. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, no, she totally wakes up when that's heard. You too? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. No, what I really like about this club, it kind of seems at the moment that I'm just getting the impression that these people, what they're doing is, I mean, it's perfectly an all right thing to do. It's just they're using all of their... They're having all of their bad days and, um, you know, they're, they're having the things that are flawed in their life and then they're just thinking, fuck it, let's go to whatever the name of this classroom is. I don't know, like the unique class code. And let's just completely forget about that and, you know, have fun out of everything. The new fly looks so good. You've been working so hard. No, that's great. I think it's really nice that she continuously reminds her. Because even though Sayori is probably going through... Well, is definitely going through greater problems than Monika. I mean, it's still just something that... She's going through greater problems, sure. But it doesn't necessarily mean Monika can discard her own. You've been working so hard on the club. But also something else, I think. Well, yeah. I get that she's not got anything, but she's really tried. Yeah, this is Sayori's. This is basically just the cue for Sayori to get her back on track. Can't do it. I'm sorry. It's so hard to just be vulnerable. Hmm. Sayori takes a sheet of paper from Monika's desks. With a desk, even. Um, she writes something down and stares at it for a while. And I trust you. Of course. You can trust me with anything. So he gazes at Monica with... Oh god, is she probably going to tell her what has happened in her day? So he gazes at Monica with sadness in her eyes. Oh. Yeah, understanding the signal. Monica takes the paper from Sayori's desk and reads it. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, that is... Yeah, now she probably realises just simply how horrible it is. Well, I, mean, I mean, she already knew that before, but like... You know, she's thinking more and more about it now. Fucking hell, I wonder what's going to happen here. Because, you know, they're, they're just totally on equal terms now. They really, really are. They can talk about anything, to be honest. Sayori. It's really, really hard for me. Oh dear, her voice shakes. So if I can do it. No, that is fully fair. And you can too, because you're a million times better than me. It's completely not true. I mean, Sayori's more skilled, but I suppose she's got the mental advantage. She doesn't have what Sayori has. Is that what she's trying to say? Well, I suppose... If she properly gets into it, she won't have what Sayori has. She'll have a lot more motivation, I think. That's completely not true. Sayori. Sayori takes a deep breath, trying to steady us. There's something about me that I've never told anyone. Yeah, that's interesting. Even now, my head is, like, screaming at me to stop. But you don't... Yeah, no, 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 that is very true. You don't have to force yourself. I mean, just because of the promise yesterday. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, I want to. It just feels right. I mean, maybe it's part of the reason I came to this club in the first place. This is the literature club. 
Hmm. I trust you more than I'm scared. At those words, Monica stands up. God, no, I don't disagree, actually. Yeah. Yeah, Sayori must have taken days of work. Days to work up the courage for this. Well, Monica's own futile but genuine efforts actually the push that Sayori needed. Yeah, I really do wonder. Hmm. She prepares herself to continue. Monica um, waits in gentle silence. this problem where I get really upset when people worry too much about me. Yeah, my god, such a reoccurring theme. Yeah. Can't control it. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, it's like, why waste your energy worrying about me when you can just be happy instead? Yeah, no, no, fair, so I never tell anyone about these kinds of thoughts that I have. Yeah, no, fair. It's just so much easier to just smile and help everyone else be happy. Yeah, no, 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 fair. Yeah, that's what Monica wants to say. But she stops herself in, in fear of saying the wrong thing. No, that is fair, yeah. It's just that if everybody knew about it, they wouldn't treat me the same anymore. No, I, I can see that. I mean, obviously, it's probably really, really bad what she's got. So I'd assume people would just feel sorry for her and they just try to constantly help and they try to constantly worry as well. And that in itself would just worsen her condition, really. Like, whenever I'm not smiling, everybody will worry about me and ask me what's wrong. Yeah, no, I totally agree. Oh, I know that because it used to be like that. That really surprises me. Well, it was probably before the times, um, you know, the protagonist was friends with Sayori. Sayori, um, was this soon to recall something in the past? Yeah. I just want everyone to be happy. It's the most important thing to me. No, and I, I can totally see that. I mean, it's interesting that it's just always been her desire, really. And obviously, if not everybody's happy, she's going to feel bad about herself. It's really sad. And letting people look inside my head doesn't bring happiness to... Yeah, no, that is a fully fair point. And honestly, it's just a really interesting way of viewing it. And obviously, it's something that, um, something that's very, very selfless as well. My God, of course it's selfless. Yeah, and it is, it is really terrible, I totally agree, because, you know, this is the definition of putting other people before you.
Let's see. Uh, Sayori is one of those people that, by reading her story, you just have unbelievable respect for. Absolutely unbelievable respect. Yeah. Sayori pauses again. Her solemn expression make her... Yeah, no, 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 fair enough, yeah. Her solemn expression making her look almost like an entirely different person. That is a good question, to be fair. They haven't known each other for the longest. I mean, I get that they've became really close, but that still applies. How did you find the courage to tell me this? You're not worried that I'll be one of those people too? Where am I? No, and I, I do see that. That's really interesting. Part of me really hates myself for doing this. No, because of, I suppose because it's, it is really going against the reason she gets so... Well, one of the reasons she gets so sad. Yeah, part of me really hates myself for doing this. But another part of me, I just felt like it would be different this time. Whenever we talk about what the club is supposed to mean, I kept feeling like it was the right, right for me to do. No, that is, that is fair, yeah. Now, and it's just totally fair. Yeah, it just made me feel like I could say it in confidence and our friendship doesn't have to change. Yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, the club quite literally is, if you ask me, just an excuse for these people to have a brilliant friendship, to be honest. Monica feels a tightening sensation in her heart. I really like that. Yeah, a feeling of connection as Sayori's emotions radiate between them. Me too. No, no, and I do totally see that because the thing is about a club like the Debate Club, loads of people. Monica, sure, she did a really good job, and yeah, I think that's really impressive, but you know. She was so lost because it only mattered on the outside. Nothing in the inside mattered. It was just as if these people only existed for what they showed outside. Inside, they could just be shells for all they care. So lost until you showed up. It's like in a club like that, you're just a person that can be replaced. Whereas in this one, you're a person that can properly, properly be listened to. You're so brave, Sayori. You're strong and brave. I don't even... Go yeah, nobody does, to be honest. I mean, my, my God. Yeah. Relatable with this line. Holy fuck. I mean, I actually thought about it. Just how she deals with this and yet how she can... I've always just found it so surprising how she can be so, so insanely sad and depressed. And, you know, all of those secret poems you unlock in Act 2, for example. How she could have written all of those. Or at least I'm assuming they're all written by her how that can be the case yet at the same how somebody so damaged can be so insanely happy as well it's just it's surprising it really is it's extraordinary honestly monica steps forward but if nothing else i can offer you at least some hug energy oh my god she's returning it that's really quite sweet if you'd like oh wow God damn. That's a really interesting CG. Yeah, wordlessly and without a smile. Yeah. Very unsettling theme. Yeah, wordlessly and without a smile, Sayori rests her forehead on Monica's shoulder. Yeah. Through their contact, Monica can also feel the torrent of thoughts swimming in Sayori's head. Yeah, no, that is interesting. And in this moment, enchanted by the era for club. Oh, 
Oh my god, no, fair enough. Monica realises that of all the days that have passed, this is the one where she really, really hopes that nobody new walks through the door. She speaks softly. Yeah, no, 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 fully, fully understandable, yeah. You're the sweetest girl I've ever met. You can say anything, I'll never judge you. Yeah, good. Promise. Sayori's breath begins to quiver. She takes several deep breaths, trying as hard as she can to start speaking, to say the things that she never wants. Oh, yeah, this is so, so good for her. of difficulty she must be facing. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, finally she speaks in a choked voice. So worthless. It's just horrible that, I mean, logically it's not the case whatsoever, but she's just so depressed and she knows how kind she is. Yet at the same time, it's just Something that she can never ever stop feeling and it's horrible. Well, just listen, everybody would be better off without me. Oh, dear. she suppresses herself as a tear falls down her cheek. No, you aren't. Oh my god, if any. She is anything but. I'm not good at anything and it feels. What about that poetry? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not good at anything and it feels like everybody just has to put up with me and I hate it. I hate it. Sayori speaks, the more she fails to control her voice, falling victim to the overwhelming sadness. Yeah, clutching her ass through her chest. I don't want to have these thoughts, I want them to go away. No, that is fully understandable. Yeah, no. Making you put up with me, and I just want to die. God. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 seriously, I mean, my god. In, in something like this, where she is just this, this sad, I mean, you really need to do everything you can. I think it's so good that she could potentially try. As soon as Sayori loses her composure, Monica becomes determined to keep her own. Yeah, she only wants... Yeah, 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 seriously, she only wants to be what Sayori needs now. So she won't let any sadness show. Comes, voice comes through her, soft and gentle. This isn't putting up with you. Oh, no, 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 that's brilliant, yeah. It's just being your friend. Yeah, no, 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 because, you know, if we think about...
Oh no, I really hope that Sayori is. Oh, I just hope that she thinks better about this, just being a friend. Monika offers a few words of comfort. But she knows, Sayori said it herself. The thoughts Sayori experiences. Hmm. The ones that don't belong. And Monika can't magically make them go away. God, if only she could. Holy fuck. The most she can do is help Sayori battle them. Yeah, 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 seriously, yeah, the most she can do is help Sayori battle them, like any good friend would do. Yeah, and it is the thing that is best. I mean, yeah, make something. I mean, she properly feels as if she can express herself here, which I think is, you know, for somebody that's, you know, going through this stuff as horrible as what she's going through, I mean, you know, it's something you need always. It really, really is. You need something to look forward to as well. That's going to be really good. She's going to have something to look forward to every day. And, you know, I suppose, especially because she's depressed, having something to look forward to and having a really, really nice friend, that's even better. That is even better. The most she can do is help Sayori battle them, like any good friend would do. Yeah, what a great thing to say. Yeah, you have so much value. To me and to your other friends too. Yeah, that, that could potentially go wrong if she has no other friends. I mean, she does, but yeah. Yeah, to me and your other friends too. This club wouldn't have been the same. It would have been nothing, and it would would have discontinued days before this beautiful scene has happened. I really, really mean that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, fully fair. Yeah, you coming here was the best thing that could have happened. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's genuinely better with just these two people. I think it's... I mean, I get that obviously these people are all there to share the joy of literature together, but I just feel like... No, to be honest, that's ever since we've joined. Maybe there are loads of um, moments that we just haven't been in the club long enough to see where people can share their emotions. Because let's be honest, we saw a lot of people's outside appearances and we just saw them trying to make new friends and trying to have fun and just trying to do stuff that's interesting with us. We didn't really see a lot of their internal thoughts. We saw some of them in Act 2, but they were obviously corrupt because this other Monica was trying to do that. So what I'm trying to think of this is, I'm trying to think of DDLC as, I'm thinking of this as a separate story. I'm thinking of this as a Monica who never, who, as if there was never any simulation involved with DDLC. I feel like this is what would happen. Because obviously, why would somebody like this encourage her to kill herself? Because let's be honest, that's what happened in the original DDLC. So I think this is fully separate. Nobody would ever change like this. Like, nobody could have emotions so genuine and then change. Or maybe, maybe if it's something really bad, they could. I don't know, though. I just don't believe it. Even if we never got any other members, I would still be happy. That's what you brought here. Yeah, 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 no, 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 fully fair. You brought us a vision, and you also brought happiness. Yeah, God, oh my God, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, That that's such a great way to end it. Oh my God, that's your favourite thing to do, right? Yeah, Sayori doesn't respond, but Monica feels her gently nod. I think it's just so horrible that you could say such kind words to somebody, yet, you know, that's just going to deal with a part of the problem. There's still so much more that's there. But the only thing is, they're going to have a lot of time on their hands, which is very, very good, and they're going to have loads of days where they come here. So they could have a chance to solve this, who knows. Sayori doesn't respond, but Monica feels her gently nod. Yeah, no more words are needed between them. Yeah, no, fair. The two share their embrace for a while longer. Monica letting Sayori take as much time as she... Yeah, that's really good, yeah. Once her breathing steadies and... Her... Oh, God. Yeah, her sniffles fully cease. Sayori lifts her head and wipes her eyes. I guess I needed that. 
Oh, I think she really did, yeah. I think it's good that, you know, she was able to have some sort of help. I guess I needed that. Some days are harder than others. Well, I'm here whenever you need me. But any other time, I'll make sure that things are the way they usually are. No, that's good. If that's what makes you happy. Thanks. You're the best. No, I know. She really is. No, you are. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's just such a mutual exchange. It's so healthy. I'm going to be honest. I think if you're making an exchange like this within like a month into the friendship, you are going to have a very, very long friendship. Wow. You really will. Maybe there's going to be a few bumps, but still, you will. <laughs> I'm sure of it. The two exchange smiles. You know, I'm sorry to bring this up all of a sudden, but if you... Oh, yeah. Yeah, that could be a very risky subject. Yeah, I, I do wonder, because I remember um, there was that emergency poem, like, why am I going to kill myself when I'm the happiest I've ever been? Or take me to the emergency room. I'll just rely on taking him to the emergency room. I mean, fucking hell, it's horrible. It really is, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, God. Yeah. I'm sorry to bring this up all of a sudden, but if you consider talking to a professional, say what he nods. It's scary. Since it's already so hard to tell people. I mean, my God, look at how much she had to go through just to tell us this. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, you've got to be really careful as well. Got to be really careful. Since it's already so hard to tell people. Yeah. Well, of course, it will always be your choice. But if you're ever looking to find the courage for it, I can do my best to help you. Oh, no, that's great. That really is good. Thanks. I think it helps knowing that you would. Yeah, no, fair. So he suddenly yawns and stretches. Wow, that made me tired. Yeah, she gets tired really easy, but I heard that's a symptoms of uh, one of the symptoms of depression. Just well, it's interesting that she gets tired very easily, and then she sleeps a lot as well, and also she's hungry a lot, which is also another symptom I've heard. And I just searched it up. But yeah, well, I can't really factually say that. Like that's what I've gained from the internet doesn't necessarily yeah yeah doesn't necessarily prove that it is the case i'm hungry well i won't make you work do any work today if you're not up for it yeah it's got to be as equal as possible you can't do that my god not a school teacher and even if you are a school teacher if you're if you've just seen somebody like this you are fucking you're not human if you make them do work <laughs> i mean if they want to do work if they have that much passion for a subject and if that's what makes them happy then don't stop them, but no. Nah. Well, I won't make you do any work if you're not up for it. No, I want to. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 exactly. I mean, yeah, it's all for Sayori. I think it's just so nice that you can have somebody with this, mo this many problems, yet you can also have so much help being done to yourself in the process. It's weird. It really is. I mean, I can say that it's definitely one thing that makes me happy. Yeah, when he cuss smiles. But I might want to get a snack first. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, the sound of the door causes the two of them to turn their heads. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, total, total sign of awkwardness. Yeah. To be fair, I've never done that. I'm more the type of person to spend 10 years before knocking somewhere. The door opens halfway, then stops. Face speaks inside. It's Yuri's. A face that seems familiar. Yeah, my god. Oh. Didn't expect it to end there. Yeah. I'm probably going to read all of these emails, um after I've read all of the stories. Hmm. 
<laughs> right, let's see which pictures we got. We probably just got that really sweet CG, yeah. We did, that was really pleasant. Jesus, when you just see all of the products of, you know, Sayori's sadness, it's horrible, it really is. I love this track so much. This one too. They're brilliant. Yeah, this one too. Oh, they're such soothing tracks. They really, really work well. Oh my god. Well, that took so much longer. How much how much time have we been recording for? Yeah, we've nearly been recording for two hours. I didn't expect that whatsoever. So, yeah, that was... um. The first side story which is called trust and my god that was that was amazing i didn't expect to have such a good read there and no okay i'm i'm not even joking when i say that i mean i understand that ddlc has been a very fun experience and a very unique one but i'm gonna be honest stuff like this is what i look for in stories and this is just what I enjoy reading about the most. I don't really want to go into it much, but, you know, I really sort of feel for them in terms of just emotions and expressing them and fucking hell, the inside versus the outside as well. That is, that's easily one of the things that probably sits with me the most in that. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I, I obviously can't relate to how horrible Sayori's story is. But at the same time, I can definitely relate to, you know, just the outside. And it is really interesting. And it's just interesting what they do with their emotions. Because, you know, let's be honest, I think if you resonate with this, you're probably like me. And you spend so much time thinking about these things. So, you know, it's just so nice to see... You know, just somebody really, really pleasantly talk about it. And, um, yeah, it really was interesting, this, and I enjoyed it. Like I said, I think this is, this has actually been, in my opinion. So, I mean, obviously, the horror elements, they're really good in terms of horror, and they are really good in terms of, you know, demonstrating stuff. But I think in terms of, that's more the experience. In terms of a story... Like, in terms of... No, I just I just feel like the horror elements are kind of different because of the fact that they're more made to be experience rather than to be a story. But they are kind of made to be a story, so I don't really know if I could validly say this, but... I think this has been the best thing I've read in DDLC so far. I really, really enjoyed it. I was highly engaged in it. I fucking loved it. So, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm leaving this on a really positive note. My god. Yeah, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. So, yeah, see you in the next video where we're going to do the um, understanding side story. Yeah, understanding. We're going to see Natsuki and Yuri. That's going to be quite fun. Oh, damn, we've got an arrangement of the main thing. Right, yeah, see you guys.